modern style for every budget. Well, WeCycle is here to help families, moms, and caregivers provide for their children. Now, if you're in need of essential supplies or the extras, WeCycle is here to help. What a wonderful organization. And with me, Executive Director Morgan Seibel is here. Morgan, good to see you. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Well, as a mother, I look at all this stuff and I'm like, oh, I could have used a lot of this years ago because, look, it's a tough, tough stage sometimes for moms when you're dealing with those little ones. Why was WeCycle? cycle created yeah so you started off by saying it takes a village to raise yes. a child and that's something we just really firmly believe um, so our two co-founders Sunny Ritchie or Sunny Haydorn and Jamie Ritchie uh -huh. had just had their first babies and felt fortunate to have all the items they needed to keep their kids safe and healthy but knew there were moms struggling to provide these items for their kids so that's how the idea for WeCycle started and that was about 15 years ago yes. and we've been WeCycling ever since. That is a wonderful thing that you've been around for 15 years now now we were just chatting about how it's grown over the years which is so good to hear what kinds of items does WeCycle cycle provide basically anything for infants and toddlers so if okay. you think diapers and formula and cribs and car seats and strollers anything and everything that you would need to raise a child happy and healthy yeah that's great and how how do you connect with with people who are in need how does that process work we are really active on social media um, we also update our website with information each week we have about two to three mobile distribution events where we partner with area food banks so that food banks can give out food resources and then we still can give out essential baby supplies like diapers and formula and clothing sometimes just depending on the event sure now what if a mom or a caregiver needs other kinds kinds of support. Have you guys run into those kind of situations and how have you helped? For sure. So we started WeCycle with a partnership model in place where all of our gear um, still is provided through partner agencies. So we have a large network of agencies throughout the state of Colorado that are really providing wraparound support services for families. We know that a pack of diapers isn't going to solve a family's problem and isn't going to pull them out of poverty, but our partner agencies are providing really valuable wraparound support to be able to hopefully break that cycle of poverty. Sure. Now, as speaking of that, there is a big demand, and I'm sure that you've seen uh, specifically just recently, and maybe mm -hmm. in the last year or two, because the times have changed, uh, it's grown with that demand. How has that impacted you guys and to keep up with so many people in need? Yeah, it's a constant struggle of just getting everything in and getting it out um, and getting enough items in. We have seen just a huge increase in demand for essential baby gear, um, particularly car seats and cribs and strollers and those really yeah. higher value items. Also, the uh, baby formula shortage has really been very hard for families to even find formula on store shelves. And, and still, that's a problem. Um, often, I'll go to the store and shelves will be bare. The, those shortages is a very real thing. Now, I'm past that stage but I cannot imagine running into that situation and just yesterday I was seeing on my phone that we're also running out of, of very very essential kid medicines mm -hmm. which is a big deal especially this time of year what kind of supplies are you in need of right now yeah we cycle is collecting basically any and all baby gear but primarily we we really need those kind of consumable items like baby wash and lotion, those things that can't be uh, reused. And then also car seats and strollers and cribs and toddler beds. Humidifiers are a big one this time of year. Mm -hmm. um, thermometers are pretty popular this year, especially in yeah. last. Yeah, thermometers, humidifiers, those are actually uh, very, very big things, especially right now as we head into winter. Okay, for people watching, how can we donate? There's a lot of ways to get involved. Um, we're always looking for volunteers to help process donations, and we have shifts on our website. Uh, we have collection events at our warehouse twice a week, so on Tuesday mornings between 9 and 11, and Thursday afternoon afternoons between 12 and 2. We accept donations at our warehouse in Aurora. We're at Alameda and Havana about. Okay. Um, and then we do have a Saturday collection event once a month as well. Okay. And then folks are also welcome to make monetary donations. Those are always really appreciated and allow us to take advantage of our bulk purchasing powers and, yeah. you know, buy diapers at half the price of, of retail. So um, we're participating in Colorado Gives Day, which is just almost less than two weeks away now. Yes. Yeah. Um, and so we 
really appreciate monetary donations as well. Glad you touched on that. Okay, everyone, uh, and this is the time of giving. This is definitely one of the organizations that needs community help. Thank you so much for being with us this morning, Morgan. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. Of course, to learn more and connect with WeCycle, just go to the website. It's WeCycle.org or give them a call. You can show your support on Colorado Gives Day. That's December the 6th by making a donation.